Uma Thurman's birthday today! Who yeah. knew yeah. Uma Thurman's birthday coincided with his Chi Chi Fest day? Well, she didn't. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm drinking uh, Period on the Beach for anybody. Uh, oh, you 14 year old girls, look out. <laughs> Brought to me by the lovely Jasmine Baker. Give it a hand for Jasmine here every night with her children. Special shout out. <laughs> so, we're not going to have, uh, uh, Tim said, we're not going to have uh, the normal uh, 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 video trailers that tell everyone to shut the fuck up. So I'm telling y'all, shut the fuck up! <laughs> In between the movies. So what's going on here is, just remember, so that all those who are new here, this is not a so bad it's good festival. This is, these movies, some of them are kind of weird, kind of this, and kind of that. Some of them are right above board, all good. But the thing about it is, no one's putting themselves above the movies. We are going on for the ride. And even though, as dubious as a movie may seem or sound at the beginning, we're going to give it its respect. We'll laugh when it's funny, but not to show that we're superior to it, because you're not. <laughs> And by going down this road with it, you might be surprised that you will find that you actually give a fuck about what's going on. And that's really cool. But now, this is, no less is this the best of QT. This is the best of the QT All Night Horror Marathon. These are the stars of the marathon class. And so, our movies tonight, if I can remember them off the head, we have so many. Uh, Blood Splattered Bride. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Twisted Nerve. I don't expect a whistling chorus when it comes time to Twisted Nerve, alright? No, no excuses. Very good. Uh, uh, Twisted Nerve, Don't Go in the House. Yeah. Breaking up the horror vibe for just a second, uh, because we did uh, we had one exploitation marathon, and the film that I wanted to bring back from that was Police Women. <laughs> I guarantee crowd pleaser, no doubt. Uh, Hell Night, starring Linda Blair. <laughs> At some point in the night, we also will show the first reel of Silent Night, Deadly Night. <laughs> And we'll be wrapping it up with Legend of the Wolf Woman. And I won't mention what it will be, but we have a brand new little surprise that will be coming out at some point in the evening, but I won't tell you what. But you'll know about it before it happens, all right? But we have a little surprise, never before seen, the only new thing showing at this festival tonight. But that's a secret. It's a secret. You'll find out. You will be the first American to see it. So let me have a sip of my period on the beach and I'll introduce the people. So, uh, now, the thing about it was, as selfish as this programming might be, since it's me doing it all, uh, I was basically, I still was always, you know, there's a big thing about sitting in the audience and, you know, I'm presenting these films and I'm just saying, okay, what works, what doesn't, what works, what doesn't. And, uh, and so I'm a good, good you know, uh, uh, facilitator as far as figuring out, okay, oh, wow, that was successful. Oh, that was, oh, because I have a joy when this stuff plays well, as you heard me talk about after the Dion Brothers. And as you heard me talk, feel about last night, it was just fantastic. Watching Rolling Thunder with y'all was an experience and a half. Thank you so much. You all give me a present. My pleasure. Thank you, Matt. Um, but now, one of the things I'm kind of breaking ranks on is Blood Splattered Bride. Because Blood Splattered Bride is, one of my, is, I think, one of the best Spanish horror films and my personal favorite lesbian vampire film. <laughs> Hands down. Hey, that, hey. Uh, that's not some made-up QT subgenre. That is an official taught in fucking school subgenre. Jean Roland is well known for being the provocateur of 
the lesbian vampire cinema. That's not done by him, though. But actually, the thing about it is funny is the director uh, of Blood, Spud, and Bride is a very famous uh, 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 Arcanda, Arcada is his name, is his last name. And he's a, he's a very famous Spanish director. In fact, if you ever saw the film The Lovers, uh, starring the woman who's a sort of a, a woman on the verge of a ner nervous breakdown, it's, he directed that. He's, to this day, it's like him and Amorivar, a couple others. They're the, still the biggest, uh, the Spanish film directors. But the point being is, I always considered uh, Blood Splatter Bride just a piece of nitro. It's like lighting a fuse on a, on a, a long fuse on a piece of dynamite. But the audience doesn't know that they got dynamite between their legs. <laughs> and so the whole fuse is blowing, blowing until, it, until it blows your crotch off. <laughs> they had no idea it was coming. The fuse was so long you forgot about it. The sizzle started making sizzle. You didn't hear the sizzle anymore. And then all of a sudden, your balls are gone. <laughs> That's the Buzz Butter Pride. However, bad programmer as I can be every once in a while, we had a slasher film marathon, which is obviously not a slasher film, and I threw it at the end of the night. And it was the only time we'd ever had two marathons squeezed into one festival, and it didn't work. It's just like, you, know, you just can't handle two marathons, or my kind of marathons, in one go-round. You kind of need it all for one, and bam, you have it. So, we lost steam. Everybody, the whole, and me, everybody, everybody here, kind of lost steam towards the second half of the second marathon. And Blood Splatter Bride, which is one of the, I think, one of the coolest movies I've ever brought here, suffered because of like second marathon syndrome, <laughs> last movie of the last movie of the second marathon syndrome, the whole thing. It was, yeah, it was bad news. So I realized, oh man, Blood Splatter Bride needs to come out. Man, it needs to come out and take no prisoners right off the fucking bat. So I am correcting my mistake of eight years ago or seven years ago. I'm correcting my mistake and I am giving Blood Splatter Bride the attention it deserves. Because I love Blood Splatter Bride so much, I named a chapter in Kill Bill Volume 1 after it. That's my introduction for the movie. Now let's talk a little bit about what's in store for us, marathon-wise. I'm looking at a pretty packed house, man. Seen a lot of girls, seen a lot of guys, seen lots of heads, lots of different colors hairs, lots of different t-shirts. Who all is going to be here around 8, 9, 10 in the morning? Here are the rules. As comfortable as you will get here, and you will get comfortable all right, in the course of the time. Again, if these movies are cool, well, again, we, you know not to laugh at the movies. That's all. That's why I come down here. You guys know, you know, we touch on it and then we let it go because you all know what time it is. That's all good. But remember, it's easy as the night gets on to get a little bit more vocal, a little bit more vocal. That's even okay as long as it's in the right direction. And that's this direction. It's all about the movie. It's all about the movie. If you're talking about it, you're talking to your friends or whatever, you're not degrading it, you're whatever, it's going in the direction of the film. It's not that direction. This is a bad direction. <laughs> that's the movie's job. The movie goes in this direction. You, you go in this direction. And that's what it's about. They like my fat ass there. There you go. <laughs> Now, the other thing is, if you leave, that's fine, because there's people out there waiting to take your place. <laughs> Go on, watch one, watch two, get your fill, move on, somebody else will come in and take your place. But, and that's all good, no shame, no shame there, no shame corner, but you can't say you went to the marathon. <laughs> You saw a couple films on Saturday night. <laughs> but you didn't go to the marathon. <laughs> now, for you people who intend to buckle down 
and be here when it comes to be tennis. Yeah. Here are the things. Sleeping is allowed. I've always considered sleeping is allowed. All right, I mean, obviously you wouldn't pay all this money to come here and just sleep. <laughs> Maybe you would, I don't know. I don't know where you live. Who knows? But part of the fun of a marathon can be you were watching some crazy fucking fucked up movie and you drift off and boom and you don't even know you're in a theater and your mouth is like, oh. Catching flies, uh, and all of a sudden, some sick fucking shit happens on the screen, and, uh, and you don't know where the fuck you are, what's going on, what time it is. Just some sick shit that you have no context for. That's kind of part of the marathon experience. Some people are Nazis about people sleeping. I'm not. I'm not. That can be its own reward. <laughs> so, uh, we will have, uh, uh, Julie, there are about four trailers in between each flick, am I right? Julie? Unruly Julie? She's not here. She's coming. Okay. Okay. Last shout out I get to you, baby. <laughs> We got lots of movies to see. So first up is a Spanish film extraordinaire, The Blood Splatter Bride. And I want to dedicate this screening to two people. One who's not here, Unruly Julie, and then next to Rhea Rasmussen. All right, here two of my friends, and I'm dedicating the lesbian vampire movies to them. Yeah. <laughs>